Afternoon guys, I'm Dave Canterbury back with another Self-Reliance Outfitters quick tip and today we're going to talk about setting your shelter up where there's no trees for a ridgeline utilizing a bipod. Stay with me. All right, so we've come out here to a nice flat area. We want to set up our shelter, but we don't have trees that we can suspend a ridgeline between to set that up or even a tree that we can tie off to at a single point like a corner to create a plow point. So we're going to do that creating a bipod. What I've done is I've staked down the backside of this tarp to start off with, and I'm at the front corner. And I've cut myself two poles that are about four feet long, and I've cut myself one toggle stick that's probably a little over a foot. Okay, we're gonna take our quick deployment ridge line here, and we just pulled out a little bit of length, and we're going to take a bite through that loop and attach that to the pole and give ourselves about four or five inches of stick up there and an ear so that we have a set of bunny ears and we're done. We're gonna give ourselves about a finger's width of space here between the two poles. We're gonna wrap that three times, one, two, and three. Now, once we've wrapped this three times, we're gonna come in through the middle, just like this. And we're gonna wrap over the top, one, two, three times, keeping it fairly tight as we go. And then when we turn this sideways, we now have a bipod that's got a temporary lash with a taut line coming out from the middle that we can use to pull this tight with a stake. Okay, so we have our bipod tied and lashed temporarily. We have our cordage hanging here. We've staked off the front of this tarp, or the back of this tarp, excuse me. So now we're going to pull the front corner straight through the V of this tripod and that's where the toggle comes in. We're going to stick a toggle in the loop of our tarp where normally a stake would go. And that's going to hold it solid here as we pull out on the bipod that we built. And we can adjust the height of this bipod by pulling it and spreading it up and down, just like this. Then all we have to do is pull it out all the way Give ourselves a little bit of slack. Throw our normal Marline spike hitch in the line and put a stake in it. Pull that taut. Go straight down to the ground directly in front of the shelter and stake that down. And so all that's left to do now is take our other two stake points and stake those out just like this come around the other side and do the same thing. And so this is a seven foot by seven foot tarp. And as you can see, there's plenty of room in here to lay under, put a pad, put some kind of a ground mat in here, put some debris in here to sleep. And we've got full coverage from any weather coming in. And we can adjust the height of this by lengthening the poles that we're using for our bipod. If we wanna get this higher off the ground or lower. But the lower to the ground we keep this, the more heat it's gonna hold in, that's not going to escape, and it's also going to give us better coverage in the long run over the top in foul weather. And we face this shelter so that the back of the shelter is into the wind, so that the wind comes over the top of the shelter, kind of like an airfoil, and it's not blowing into the shelter from the side or the front. Okay, guys, that was just a quick tutorial video on how to set up a shelter in an open area where you don't have large trees to suspend a ridge line between or a large tree to tie off to for a plow point and how you can set up a plow point type shelter using only a bipod. Guys, we appreciate your support and we appreciate your views. I'll be back with another quick tip as soon as I can. Thanks, guys.